Yeah, everything was working fine. There was nothing wrong until I got a bill. What did you get after that? Australians are getting scammed by cheap solar every day. So they just came and didn't even tell you when they're going to come to install? No, they didn't give me any date. They just turned up. And Craig has found himself at a loss of thousands of dollars. And then they demanded the money when it was finished and they hadn't done the job properly. As the price of energy continues to rise, more and more Australians are turning to solar to reduce their cost of living. But at what cost? There's been literally a hardware error with the inverter, a CT clamp not put on. We're talking less than an hour's work to come and fix the whole thing. And like many Australians, Craig has paid the price for going cheap, especially a cheap solar company. And it's taken six months to not do it. They're beyond their reasonable expected time to come and fix the works. The company itself would be pursuable through fair trading, clean energy regulator, and I'd also be looking at a civil case as well. Craig has reached out to Your Energy Answers to help him confront this cheap solar company and hopefully put an end to this solar nightmare. They ring the landline, you might get him. I got solar. This is presented by Your Energy Answers. This tragic, cheap and shady solar story began in about 2017 when Craig first installed his solar system. And he went for quality. The only thing is he picked the company from Melbourne. He had a 6.6 kilowatt of solar, a 5 kilowatt inverter, and to top it off, he put a 1.2 kilowatt quality end phase battery with the system. And that actually put him in the lucky situation for many quarters. He had a zero dollar bill. No bills for a while, did you? No bills since 2017. That's correct. Now you Using a Melbourne-based company when he's based in Sydney's West was Craig's first mistake. When the five kilowatt inverter, about 2024, right at the beginning, it died. And so he ringed the original Melbourne company and they go, oh, we don't have a subby in Sydney anymore. So sorry, just find yourself a Sydney company. So no after sale service because he picked somebody from far away. And so he looked for a local installer, but he made the second mistake. He picked cheap and shady solar. The company you've picked how much research did you do on them? I didn't do much much research because I'm thinking they're a very popular brand. You go with the well-known company thinking everything's right. Mm. And then instead they come along and they don't install it properly and it's not up to code. So yeah, yeah. So please be warned. When you find on Facebook those $2,990 systems, it's not a good result. They're ripping you off. So what happened in Craig's case? He just needed the inverter repaired. It's like you've got a car, the tire's flat, but there's somebody's coming and selling you a whole new car. So they said, oh, your system, it's only five kilowatts on the inverter. We give you 10 kilowatts. What they didn't tell him is it's 10 kilowatts of panels they were giving him, but they were only giving him an eight kilowatt inverter. So they didn't double the system size, which they pretended to Craig. They actually only gave him 60% more and the perfect liquid system was moved out. And then the one thing that helped him so much with the low bills, his Enphase battery, they didn't even know how to connect it back up. But it gets worse. They turned up, put the system on, on a day that Craig wasn't even home. He comes home one day, pop, there is the system. The system wasn't working from day one. Everything was working fine. There was nothing wrong until I got a bill. Yeah, I checked it out. It was 480 bucks. I rang up another solar company and they come out and they inspected the solar and they wrote a report on everything mm -hmm. that was wrong. And I think the biggest thing that was wrong is that the inverter has never worked from day one. Craig's inverter was out, and guess what, for how long? Six months. Craig is on finance, he's keep on paying, when all he wanted was a fixed inverter. So, you ring the company, can you please come out and fix it? What happened then? He played around with the switch and switched it on and off, and he said there's nothing wrong with the inverter, everything's working. But when we go to the inverter and look at it, it has an error code on it. How can he tell you it's working? I don't know, he's the expert. I'm no expert, he, he is. I wanted to really see how the quote was written, how quality of the install and everything. So I brought a trusted quality local installer to come out and see how he can help us. I'm here with Matthew from Renuco Solar and Matthew's gone outside and had a bit of a look at the system. What have you found out, Matthew? You've got a an inverter with an internal hardware error and they've had an inability to come out and do a 30 minute job in a six month period, which again would be a consumer behavioural violation in that they're beyond their reasonable expected time to come and fix the works. 
Well, the problems didn't stop there because this initial installation company was even shadier than I thought. No electrical license or building license listed on the contract. Their license needs to be stipulated on the contract for sale whenever you sell any electrical work. That's for liability purposes, so you know who to pursue when there's issues. Moving beyond that though, the panel brand listed on the contract for sale um, was not installed, was installed instead. And inverter brand was the sold product, but was installed. They're not like for like products. The costs listed on the contract for sale do not line up with what the client is paying for the system. The other thing too is the client has no copies of anything to do with his STC rebate claim. So they literally kept Craig in the dark. Yep. Yeah, yeah, fully. So in order to be fair to that company that initially installed it, we actually decided to give them one last chance to come out after six months, get that inverter swapped out on warranty and get Craig back into the system. So we rang them. Hey, boss, so I'd like to see the I can't forget at the moment. I'm going to ring head office now. I was going to say, ring the landline, you might get him. Hey, boss, so I'd like to see the I can't forget at the moment. Hi, uh, I've left a message with you already before. We really want to avoid having to go to the clean energy regulator and make a serious complaint. So Craig, look, the issue is this, you pick a very cheaper kind of company. They can't afford to have somebody sitting in their office taking your call. Let's pursue the company, hope they do the right thing. If they're not gonna do the right thing, I'll find an installer for you, we'll pay for it to have your solar system working again. Okay, that'd be perfect. Thank you very much. No worries. Luckily, eventually the company actually contacted Craig back. Somebody from the company would come and swap the inverter over. So when we turned up, there wasn't anybody from the company. The company had sent a subcontractor. Firstly, appreciate you came out so quickly to get him back in. Do you think six months is a good time frame for getting your inverter replaced? No, not good time. Normal the service is going to be quick. The customer you form say like I have issues with the inverter. Technician is coming, check the inverter and see the issue and then report to the company and then the company responds about this. Should be three or four weeks, yeah, shouldn't it? Should be, yeah. And now that we had the inverter replaced and the inverter was working, everything is fixed, is it? No. One of the other things that Craig never had and one of the reasons he got his big bills is he never had monitoring. But even that, when you buy cheaper inverter brands, the Wi-Fi connectivity can be a real pain. And in this instance, it was. We've been here for about an hour and a half here. It's getting very cold. We actually haven't been able to connect the Wi-Fi. We've put a special dongle inside. We rebooted. And so Craig, at this point in time, still doesn't have his monitoring. Shouldn't be so hard. He's having a lot of trouble. So now we've been ringing the helpline to get the dongle connected. When you run last time for help how long were you on the phone so that's when you buy a cheap inverter that's the service level you get craig look he's trying to ring the helpline but he's been on hold for quite a while so he's going to persist hopefully he's going to ring me with good news but at this point in time you don't have the monitoring but the good news is we've got at least the system working again okay Hello, Marcus speaking. So we now got the monitoring, have we? Yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you for persisting. Craig has gone through hell and back, so I uh, really appreciate He's got his monitoring now. Thank you yep. so much. Well, you might think now we're finally moving to good news because the inverter's working, he's got his monitoring on. But remember, one of the key reasons Craig had low bills was because he had a good end phase battery and that battery is still not connected because the company said to him, oh, you're getting such a big solar system. You don't really need that battery anymore. Silly dilly. Of course we need it at night. We need it when it's really shady. And the only reason they didn't put it back on is because possibly technically they didn't know how to do it. When we examined the switchboard, we found that the current transformer which gives all the information for the battery to do its charge and discharge cycles was simply not connected that's a five second job it probably just didn't know what it was and didn't connect it and at the same time you're dealing with subcontractors who would want to charge extra they may have called the business that sold the system and said hey do you want us to connect this up it's going to be an extra 150 bucks 200 bucks whatever it is and because of the pricing and how tight this has all been ran the company likely would have said no that's one of the things that may have happened here
because he was lucky, had an Enphase battery. Enphase is a top company for inverter solutions. And so we called Enphase. We told them the story about how Craig had really been scammed away. And Enphase said, look, we're going to come. We see if the battery can still be connected. But if not, we're going to give him a whole brand new battery. Just like to check all of these. Oops. Ooh, what's going on there? That's not real good. No, I had the crackling. That that wasn't clicked in properly. That's why it was moving around. So the last person who installed it, which was the inverter installer, would have actually potentially not done that 100%. Have a have a look at the good news here. You got green oh, light now. Okay, so more, Craig, um, the good news is because it's a high quality battery, it actually hasn't died. If you'd take a cheaper battery too, you would have had it nine months disconnected. It would be dead as a dodo. We'll Let's just get the engineer to confirm it. Can you tell how good the battery is still in terms of the long life? Yeah, so it's only done like 150 cycles. It's still well still within like... Go, right? um, wow. These Enphase batteries, I don't want to put a number on cycles, but it's many thousands. You have only had 150 times the energy in and out of the battery, so you still have a lot of life left in your battery. That's good news. So theoretically, Craig, you will find your very low electricity bill life will continue. Well, that'd be totally awesome. At long last, yes. So Craig, really thank you for letting us into your house. Your energy answers to the rescue. I feel a lot happy and relieved now that everything's working and everything's good. I couldn't be more happier. The work you've done with helping me out, I really appreciate that. I... So if you have unfortunately bought a cheap solar system from a shonky solar company and you're in strife, give your energy answers a call and we'll dig you out. Wow, wow, wow. The Enphase battery, after nine months sitting there idle in the back corner of his garage, was still working. What a terrific product. And thanks again to Enphase to come to the day. Now, because feed-in tariffs are much lower nowadays, I'm doubting that even with that big system, Craig will be back to $0 bills, but they will be very, very low. So what do we learn from this saga? Firstly, choose a local installer. If Craig would have picked the Sydney company, they wouldn't have just hoodwinked him off like the Melbourne company did. Secondly, please, please, please avoid the cheap solar. It's not going to give you what you need. It seems like a bargain, but it stings you in the bottom. Thirdly, pick reliable after-sales focused brands like Enphase. The cheaper companies also use often the cheaper inverter product. So I'm in some way not surprised that Craig's system pretty well had a dead inverter on day one. Now, also when it comes to the cheaper companies, they often use subcontractors. Now, in our case, we had a lovely subcontractor. Some subcontractors do a terrific job, but some subcontractors, especially if they're not getting paid that much, they do it by the rush. So corners are getting cut, and again, that's the sign of cheap solar. So that's why we say go local, go quality, go yourenergyanswers.com, where we have the installers that have proven them in their local environment to be reliable, been around for 10 years, do focus on customer service and don't do shady solar sales practices. If you've been ripped off or hit hard by cheap, low quality solar systems, share your horror stories with us at yourenergyanswers.com forward slash share your story. And maybe we can help you just like we helped Craig. If you're looking for a reliable solar and battery company, check out our installer finder. Our partners have been around for over a decade and they've been vetted for ethical sales and quality installation practices. And each month we will reward the best entry with a $200 voucher. See you next time. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators and find your quality local installers. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.